Hi guys, welcome back to another Aloe Geek episode and today we're going to talk about the Thermo Scientific XL2 Plus and how well it does on low alloy steels and chrome moly steels. So I've kind of arranged things down below. This is a actually a powdered piece of metal. I don't have a certified chemistry, uh, but it's just a steel piece with some higher copper levels. We'll see that. And then I've got two samples here. I've got a 4140 and a 4340, excuse me. Um, and we'll, we'll take a look at how quickly we can identify those. And then we're gonna go up in alloy content a little bit further with this one and a quarter chrome half molly. Um, and then to this two and a quarter chrome, one molly. So that'll be great. And then we're gonna finish off with this nine chrome, one molly, and this D2, which actually goes over that 10 and a half percent chrome uh, for the stainless steel limit. Everyone likes to use that limit, but to, to be honest, stainless steel is pretty much defined as it not corroding in the environment or surviving the environment. And that's depends on a lot of factors. But we're gonna start, we're gonna do a quick test of each one of these. <laughs> Check, take a look at the screen and see how we do. I wanna see how fast this analyzer, the Niton XL2 Plus, can test all of these materials down below and can it get the right answer. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna test this, this sample here, which is just the steel, okay? And you're able to see that like within one second, we're able to test that one. Now let's go to the next one. Okay, we have 4140 there, one second. Next one, 4340 there, oh, I guess 1.1 seconds, but really fast. I mean, this analyzer is lightning fast for identifying these grades. And you're thinking, well, you, you could do a longer analysis, and you're right, I can, and we will, but to start, let's just look at the speed. So look at the one and a quarter chrome, pick that up right away. Let's try the two and a quarter chrome and it picks it up right away. Even before the analyzer is beeping, um, you're actually able to identify the grade on the analyzer itself. So, um, okay, there's our nine chrome. Really easy to pick up. Now, how about our D2, our tool steel? Are we gonna be able to pick that up? You better believe it. So again, one second into doing all of these analyses. So um, the first thing I'm gonna take a look at here, let me just set some of these up here out of the way. We're gonna take a look at this steel sample, okay? So I'm gonna just try to target this right in the middle. We're gonna take a good analysis time here, um, you know, just uh, long enough to get the light elements engaged. What we're looking for is if there's any silicon present here, and we need the light element beam to make that determination. So if you are looking for light elements, remember, you gotta wait till that light element beam engages, um, and it just takes a couple of seconds to do that way. So, okay. Let's see what we got here. So you can see it on my screen here. Um, the, we didn't really pick up any silicon, at least we're not probably not looking for it, but we have a really nice chemistry here. And you'll be able to see that that copper level, that high copper I was telling you about in this alloy, um, you can definitely pick that up. And that's an important thing to look for in steel, especially if you're scrapping steel or melting steel, looking for those high uh, uh, copper parts. And it's not much, right? Less than half a percent is considered high in steel, in a lot, many steels. So now we've got this 4140. You know, how do we do with our chemical analysis there? So we'll just do a quick test and I'm gonna let this one run a little longer too. And what you're gonna find is that this Niton XL2 Plus is extremely fast when it's looking at these, um, when it's looking at these steels. And it's doing a great job of nailing the chemistry very early on. And at the same time, it's getting better over time the more data we collect which is great. So um, now you'll be able to see here, my silicon is gonna be a little bit high. That's expected for a, some of these samples have been peened or shot peened with or blasted with silicon media. And yet you can see that with XRF sometimes. So, um, so we're gonna keep going here. This is that 4340. And what you'll see here, you can see the chrome, manganese, the nickel, um, but let's stop the test there. I mean, there's really, no point in, in testing more, right? So basically here, we've got that 4340, um, pretty easy to see. So if you're working with these kind of alloys, you can see that a handheld XRF, just like this one, um, it's, it's gonna do a great job in nailing even your low alloy steels, especially if you're just looking for that alloy identification, you're talking one second analysis. I mean, lightning fast, okay? 
So I'm gonna keep going and let the light element beam come out a little bit just to kind of see what it does. Um, but the but the calibration for this unit seems spot on and Niton is known for really good and robust calibrations and that's definitely evident in this in this analyzer here so all right and we're back and so now we're gonna take a look at a certificate of analysis so you should be able to see my screen the screen of the analyzer but let's take a closer look at that alloy right so if we were to do something like this and look at a certificate right our chrome is at 1.08 percent and we read 1.05 that's within 0.03 that's really spot on and that molly 0.476 and we read 0.47 i mean this analyzer is doing a great job of nailing the chemistry so this is a certificate of analysis this is a certified reference material and um, that's kind of how you know your analyzer is working properly so if you need things like this you can find them on lageek.com but let's keep going here and, and take a look at another another sample so now we've got this two and a quarter chrome one molly. Now that's just the name of the alloy. So keep in mind that it's gonna be an approximate chemistry. So we're gonna run this, see it beeps right away again, that one second to get the great identification. Really great. Um, and then I'm gonna let it run. I have it set up right now for 10 seconds. It's gonna kick the light element beam on, okay? So now the light element beam is on. I only really wanna run that for a couple of seconds because I don't wanna, I don't want to bore you guys um, but yeah so okay so let's take a look at this chemical breakdown now so the two and a quarter chrome one molly right so if we look here our chrome our certified chrome is at 2.35 and we read 2.42 and we didn't even do a full analysis I mean really we could do a much longer analysis but that's pretty much as spot on as you're gonna get for a handheld XRF and really again the great identification is one second is great so now we're gonna look at that molly 0.93 is the certified value and I'm reading at 0.85 so again really great um, precision calibrations from Niton they're usually really spot on so this alloy, this next one, is approaching that stainless limit, 9 chrome, 1 molly. Molly is a great alloy to add for corrosion resistance in many applications, uh, but let's just see how we do here. So there's that one second analysis of the grade that it gets right, and then we're going to keep going here. All right, light element beam is on. Now you see that molly level at 1? right and then that chrome at about 8.53 so I mean this this analyzer is just really breaking everything down for us and it's doing so pretty quickly so I'm not gonna to look at the certificate for that one today instead I wanted to do this D2 so this is a tool steel and you find these tool steels around um, lots of machine shops and and die shops things like that and they're incredibly useful alloys so let's see if it gets this one right now this one I do have the certificate for, so what we're going to do is we're going to let the light element beam come on and then, then we're going to take a look at the chemistry and kind of see how close we got. But I'm just impressed, I'm always amazed with how fast this analyzer gets the grade identification right and usually that's what you're really looking for in the field is that grade identification. What I'm doing now is more of a chemical analysis after the fact and it's not necessary. That one second grade analysis, if you get a good match number, it's going to be good every time. Okay. So now we're talking about this D2 sample. So let's grab the certificate. Now this is just a reference material. So this is not as certified as the Niton sample itself was, but let's take a look here. The Chrome, 11.3%. It looks like my Chrome creeped down a little bit on this sample, but again, this is not a certified value. Even the variance or the uncertainty here is high. So I would actually trust the the Niton uh, XRF more than my actual reference material, but you get the idea. So it's just D2. You can see that up here on the sample AISI D2. And then um, down below here, uh, we've got, what else are we looking for in D2? So no, notice here that the carbon value here is 1.52%. Uh, now we can't see carbon at all with XRF. In fact, no XRF can see carbon as of 2023. And so really just looking for the other elements that are in there. Let's look at the manganese level. You know, how did we do there? So let me scroll down a little bit so you guys can see. Oh, never mind. It's, it's right up there. Okay. So 0.33, we're at 0.3. I think that's great. The Molly, right? 0 0.76, 0 0.79 as a, as a value published here. We're like right on for this D2. So for any of the low alloy steels or chrome Molly steels, 
Um, I can definitely recommend the Thermo Scientific Niton XL2 Plus. This analyzer just, it just is a workhorse. This form factor, I mean, it's a little bit bigger than some of the smaller ones that are on the market today, but it's not that heavy. The battery lasts a long time and you can see how bright that screen is. So um, being able to identify all these low alloy steels is great. And you do need alloy content in the stuff you're looking at. It can't just be carbon and in iron, um, you know, even like in this piece here, that's just steel. Uh, we were able to look at the other alloy content as well. But for most people, they're just working with different alloys out there and this analyzer does a great job. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.